Parasites, they can be a Halloween-worthy horror story for your pets, but don't let those little monsters make you or your furry friends miserable. Jennifer Rapchak is here from the Woodford Humane Society with tips to help you recognize and prevent common <laughs> pet parasites. And you're, and you're best gonna friend. hear a tail going too, don't you? Hi there, Celeste. This is Celeste, yes, she's a year old and an avid lover of TV and apparently TV personality. Well, she likes Barb. I'm very glad that you're in here. No Celeste, doubt about that. How nice to have you. Appreciate you coming there. in. All right, we're going to turn our attention from this precious dog, mm -hmm. Celeste, to talk about something that is a. Uh, I mean, it's it's a tough subject. It's creepy and parasites. Crawly. Yeah. Yes. There's many common parasites that we can find in our pets, but they're broken into two categories. We have endoparasites, which are found on the inside, and ectoparasites that are found on the outside. You brought some examples that yes. are really creepy looking. Yes, and these are some of the most common. They're parasitic worms. Mm -hmm. We have round worms, that, and they are long, round, and unsegmented. Then we also have tapeworms. Tapeworms are flat and are segmented. The only part that you usually will see is the part that's in a dog's feces or on their fur, and they look like little grains of rice. Mm -hmm. Do you need to worry about this all year? When it gets cold, does that take care of some of the problems? It's a common misconception that you only need to worry about parasites in the spring and summer, but it's a year-round thing. Mm -hmm. One flea can really lay enough eggs where it will last all through winter. Oh, how so horrible. Right, so your vet. the question becomes, so what do you do? How do you prevent it and then treat it if it happens? Um, always go to the vet. They're the ones that have the most approved prevention. And so that's anything from Trifexis Frontline. They can treat internal as well as external. So Celeste here doesn't have to worry because? Celeste doesn't have to worry because with any animal that comes through Woodford Humane Society, she's already been spayed. She's had her prevention for both inside and outside parasites as well as all of her shots and she's well, ready for a home. I was going to say, she is a sweet dog and she oh, is looking for incredibly that. Incredibly <laughs> sweet. I love this looking dog. Looking for that forever home, right? Yes. Available she now? She's available for adoptions today, 10 minutes from now, 5 seconds from now. I, I don't think it's going to take no. long. And she has the prettiest little markings on her feet and all. You're and just so little sweet. White tip. Well, you say she's about a year old? Yes. yes. Is that she's generally what happens when people come out? They find the dog that they fall in love with, or do. the dog finds them? She's the kind of personality that you wouldn't be looking for long until she was jumping up saying, pick me, and then just throw herself on you. Yeah. So, do you know any history on her? Where she she came was from? an animal control pickup, so mm -hmm. she's a blank slate, and she's just ready for me to make the next oh, chapter for her. Wants to write All her right. new life story. Mm -hmm. All right. Celeste is ready to turn the page. Hey, thanks for coming. Thank, thank you for having me. All right. Thank you very much. Annie